Hello and welcome back to the Reaper. So we're in our Hornet again. I'm just catching up with the Hornet still from my time off and I've just discovered that there is a page called the F Pass page which passed me by. And so we're going to have a quick look at that. So, um, we're going to use our left EDI here. We're currently in HSI. Let's get out of that by clicking main menu and again and F Pass. Now this is pretty friggin' awesome. Um, so let's have a look what we've got. I wish all planes had this. So this basically examines the current way that we're flying, our current configuration, speed, altitude, and advises us ways of flying more efficiently. So we've got two columns that we're interested in. Range is down kind of this column here, and endurance, by which I mean time that we can stay airborne, this column down here. So if we look at the top row, this is our current performance until we get down to a fuel load of 2,000 pounds. So our current range until we get down to a fuel load of 2,000 pounds, and we're currently at, uh, whatever that says, 10,450, and our current flight parameters, we can manage 590 nautical miles. And our endurance, we can fly for another hour and 33 minutes. Uh, next we've got best max so this is a way that we can maximize current range and endurance by flying at a certain speed so it says that the best Mac we can do at our current altitude is 0.58 Mac um, and uh, down until we get to 2,000 pounds it would give us a slight increase of seven nautical miles basically it would give us a total range of 597 miles but if we look at the endurance um, we would get best endurance if we were to fly at 0.43 Mach and that would give us a play time of or a total time airborne time of one hour and 51 minutes until we got down to 2,000 pounds so if we were on a long range mission or had to stay airborne for a long time for some reason then that would be the best option to go for if we wanted to get the maximum range out of the plane that is the option that we would want to go for the next row is giving us parameters about if we were to fly to a certain point. So we're going to navigate to Takan 10. So I've set a Takan um, station up on a carrier, I don't know, 70 miles away, uh, 62 miles away. And this gives us information if we were to fly on our current settings, our current altitude and speed, we would get there in 4 minutes and 12 seconds. By the time we got there, we would have that much fuel remaining in pounds. And that's how many pounds per nautical mile we would be burning. The next row is going to help us optimize our flight. So we've got, looking at the range column again, our first row is altitude. So it's telling us that our absolute most optimum altitude in terms of gaining range for fuel is 39,000 feet, 291, which is bloody high. And our speed at that altitude would be 0.83. And if I were to get down to 2,000 pounds, it would give us a total of 892 miles, which is quite far best optimized endurance by flying at 30,000 feet at Mach 0.62 and that would give us a total time in the air of 1 minute and 50 sorry 1 hour and 56 seconds before we were down to 2000 pounds now note that if we did get down to 2000 pounds or below 2000 pounds this would all change rather than going down to 2000 pounds these would be showing down to 0 pounds uh, some options down here if we were to click on climb let me do that then that would show us above our speedo here, it would show us the optimal climb speed if we wanted to climb. Also, we've got the home option here. So I haven't tried this yet, but the, my understanding is if you select a certain airbase, so airbase number one or carrier number one, then basically um, when it calculates that you've only got 2,000 pounds left to reach that particular airbase, then it will give you a warning. Um, so I think that's working at the moment uh, and that's pretty damn cool so the only other thing i quickly like to show is um is how it's going to change dynamically if i start changing my throttle now for instance i'm going to put my burners on you can see everything's being uh, changed in real time so that the, my range is going right down because i'm burning fuel so inefficiently because of my high fuel flow as you can see here uh somewhere yep there And you can see there, in fact, that fuel remaining has gone down to zero to get to Takan Station 10, which is 57 miles away, because I wouldn't actually have enough fuel to get back um, to that airbase with my current engine settings. So anyway, I'm going to start using that. I hope that was useful, and see you later.